Marie Curie was born Maria Sklodowska on 7th of November 1867 in Warsaw, Poland, being the youngest child of Vladislav and Bronislawa Sklodowska. She had a great thirst for knowledge but was unable to study in the University of Warsaw because she was a woman, so she got involved with the underground flying university. With a lot of hard work, Marie made her way to Paris where she completed her master's degree in physics and mathematics, became the first woman in Europe to earn a PhD, and found Pierre Curie whom she married in 1895. Together, they had two daughters named Irene and Eve. Marie had a huge fascination with Henri Becquerel's discovery of radioactivity, a term she coined referring to the spontaneous release of energy due to nuclear instability. Together with Pierre, Marie carried out her own research. They discovered the ability to isolate radioactive elements from pitchblende, a uranium-based ore. Through this, they also discovered new radioactive elements, radium and polonium, which was named after Poland, Marie's native country. In 1903, Marie, along with Pierre and Becquerel, won Nobel Prize in Physics for their discovery of radioactivity. She became the first woman to receive a Nobel Prize. Despite the death of Pierre Curie in 1906, Marie still continued their work. She inherited Pierre's teaching position, becoming the first female professor at the Sorbonne. By 1911, Marie won a Nobel Prize in Chemistry for her discovery of polonium and radium, becoming the first person to win two Nobel Prizes. Marie had greatly helped during the World War I when she herself carried portable X-ray machines to the front lines to help the wounded soldiers. She contracted a plastic anemia due to the prolonged exposure to radiation. On 4th of July 1934, Marie died aged 67. Her remains were transferred in Pantheon in Paris in 1995. She became the first and only woman entombed there on her own merits. Marie Curie was indeed a science heroine. She was a genius and a woman filled with scientific integrity whose work saved thousands of lives. Her selflessness, determination and passion for science are truly an inspiration to all of us today.